Hi, my name is Christian Flutter and thank you so much for joining me today. Recently I published a video talking about how movement can influence brain development. And I was asked a wonderful question as to how can we check and see if this could be something going on with my child. Well, one of the things that I use quite frequently is balance. How well does your child balance? The brilliant and recently appointed PhD, Dr. Wayne Haynes, did a whole bunch of study on this one. And he actually looked at kids and their balance and found that kids with worse balance didn't perform as well academically as their good balancing counterparts. See, balance is a reflection of a couple of things, but one of the most important ones is tone. Now you might have heard of tone. Tone is how tightly you're holding a muscle. A really tight muscle sends more signaling back into your brain than a really, really loose muscle. And in fact, one of the best ways to describe tone is with a piece of string. See, tone is the way your brain communicates. Now, if this string is a muscle, and this is a brain, and this is my foot, a good tight muscle, when I move at the foot, my brain feels it. Likewise, when the brain says move, the foot will move as well. Now, if I take tone out of the equation, for instance, if I have low tone, all of a sudden that string is loose. When the foot moves, the brain doesn't feel it until the movement is quite big and quite gross in its movement, and then the brain will perceive it. Likewise, the brain has to say do a lot before anything will happen. Now this often reflects as the kid, when they've got good tone, when they're closing their eyes and they're balancing, they might just have a little sway and then they correct because they can feel when they're starting to move. But if their tone's not so good, when they close their eyes and they start to move, it takes a long time before they feel it and they have to do a gross uh, corrective movement. This may be an indication of a bit of a tone-based issue. So have a look. Your child, if they're over the age of five, they should be able to stand on one foot with their eyes closed. Have a look at how well they're doing that. Because if there's a bit of problem, there might be a bit of a tone issue going on. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye now.